Hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle Emerson and I love helping teachers with all things technology, organization, and productivity. One of the top questions I'm constantly asked is, Michelle, how do you create all of your templates and your slides and your worksheets? And the answer for the longest time was PowerPoint, but I have switched to using just Google Slides. In fact, I don't even have PowerPoint on my computer anymore. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to convert PowerPoints to Google Slides a few different ways. So before we jump into how you actually convert PowerPoints to Google Slides, let's talk just a little bit about why I prefer using Google Slides and some of the benefits that you might find as well. First of all, Google Slides is free. It's what? It's free. You do not have to pay to use it. You are automatically given 15 gigabytes of free Google storage. You do have to create a Google account, but actually using Google Slides or Google Docs or Google Sheets or Google Drive is all free. It's what I can afford. Google Slides is also a web-based tool, which means it runs through the internet, as opposed to PowerPoint where you have to have software downloaded on your computer. This gets tricky because if you're using a computer other than your own, you may not have that software to be able to edit your PowerPoints. Plus, when you are using a web-based tool such as Google Slides, your computer is going to run faster because it's not wasting processing power on those applications. Another great feature of Google Slides is that it saves automatically. If you are like me and you have been using PowerPoint for some time, I guarantee you, you have had at least one experience where your PowerPoint just crashed. What happened? What happened? What happened? And you lost a presentation you have been spending hours creating. The great thing is Google Slides is always saving so you don't have to worry about losing any of your presentations if something were to happen to your computer or you lost power. Now, my understanding is PowerPoint has since added like an auto save feature, but it doesn't seem like it works quite as smoothly. And I do think you have to have the subscription to Microsoft Office as opposed to just having the software in order to use it. I don't know, it's too confusing for me, but Google Slides automatically saves and that's all I need to know. Google Slides is also much easier to share. If you want to share a presentation with someone, you can either manually add in their email and it will send it to them or you can share a link with them. They will be able to open that up on any computer or any device. Whereas with PowerPoint, you have to actually attach the PowerPoint and then you worry that the other person may or may not be able to open it up depending on what software they have on the computer. Collaboration is also much much easier on Google Slides. PowerPoint has since added a feature that will allow you to collaborate with others, but again, it's not as smooth and there's a lot of like bullets that you have to reach first, like it has to be within your OneDrive and all of these other things. Whereas Google Slides, you can always collaborate with others very easily. All right, that, that sounds better. But I will be honest, Google Slides does have one glaring downside that I'm really hoping Google will fix soon. At this present moment, you cannot import your own fonts into Google Slides. I know, it's sad but it's okay. I personally have just adjusted to using fonts that are within Google Slides, and I've kind of gotten over using some of the cutesy fonts that I would use in PowerPoint anyway. So let's jump into it. I am gonna show you a few different ways to convert PowerPoints to Google Slides. Keep in mind that the conversions are not always perfect. Once you convert the file, you may have to make minor adjustments, especially if you are using a different font on PowerPoint that is not a standard Google font but I promise it is a very easy process to do and if you're like me, you will fall in love with Google Slides and just not need any of your PowerPoint files anymore anyway. So in order to show you this conversion process, I'm gonna use my Meet the Teacher letter templates. That is a product in my TPT store and it is currently only available in PowerPoint. So I'm gonna show you how to convert it to a Google Slides file. So right now in my downloads, you can see the PowerPoint file. I'm gonna go ahead and just click and drag it into my Google Drive in order to upload it. Of course, I could have also gone to new file upload and selected it that way, but I prefer just to click and drag. Now Google has already added 
added a great feature where if you try to open a PowerPoint, it will automatically open it within Google Slides. So if I double click on this PowerPoint, it's gonna open a new tab with Google Slides and it is automatically opening that PowerPoint as if it were a Google Slides document. That way you can view it and edit it without even opening PowerPoint. Now while that finishes loading, just to show you if for any reason that didn't happen, you also can right click on the PowerPoint, choose open with, and then select Google Slides. So let's go back to the actual Google Slides. The file is still loading, there's a lot to it. You will notice that this template actually transferred very, very seamlessly. The text boxes are all still in the right spot. The only difference is that within PowerPoint, this edit your name was a different font. So I would wanna go in and change that font, but otherwise the layouts are all like exactly what I would want them to be and it all looks pretty good. So this is still technically a PowerPoint file. I am just opening it in Google Slides. If I want to actually convert it to be a Google Slides file, I have to take an extra step. So I'm going to go to File, and then choose Save as Google Slides. It's going to open a new tab because now it is a separate file. If I go back to my Google Drive, I now have the PowerPoint file, which still exists. I can still use it within PowerPoint, but I now have a Google Slides file as well. And just to point out the quick difference in case you're ever confused as to whether you're using a PowerPoint file or a Google Slides file, if I go to that PowerPoint, you will notice this extension, the .pptx, that means it is a PowerPoint file. But now that I've saved it as Google Slides, if I go over, you will notice that extension is not there in the title. But I wanna show you all a hack a total game changer. If you have been Team PowerPoint and you are ready to take the plunge into the world of Google Slides, you need to turn on the setting that will automatically change your PowerPoint files to Google Slides anytime you upload them to Google Drive. So in order to do that, you're within your Google Drive going to click on the settings gear and you're going to select settings. Right under convert uploads, where it says convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format, you want to check that. Go ahead and click done. You will notice it's not going to automatically take any PowerPoint that was already in your Google Drive and convert it to Google Slides, but it will convert any new uploads. So just to model this for you, I'm gonna actually delete both of these, the PowerPoint and the Google Slides, and I'm going to now re-upload that PowerPoint file. But you will notice once it goes into my Google Drive, instead of being a PowerPoint file, it's automatically going to be a Google Slides. So I'm going to go to my downloads, drag over the PowerPoint file, it is going to upload, and now you will notice it is not a PowerPoint file, it is automatically a Google Slides file. If I open it up, you will notice that that little extension that said PPTX is not there, so it is a Google Slides file. Now, my recommendation to you, any files that you already have within your Google Drive that are PowerPoint files, I would recommend converting them to Google Slides the first way I showed you. So you can open up the file, go to File, and then Save as Google Slides, but for any files that may be on your computer that are not within your Google Drive, if you turn on that conversion setting, it will automatically upload them as Google Slide files. I'm sure some of you are like, but wait, what if for some reason I need the PowerPoint file? You can convert any Google Slides into a PowerPoint. It's super easy. I have this Google Slides. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to select Download, and I'm going to select Microsoft PowerPoint. It's going to automatically convert that Google Slides into a PowerPoint, even if that Google Slides never was a PowerPoint. If I create a Google Slides from scratch, I can still convert it into a PowerPoint. So quick and easy, that is it. That is how you can convert a PowerPoint to Google Slides and also how you can take a Google Slides and convert it back to PowerPoint. I really hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and share it out with your teacher friends, you know, so they can join the pocket full of primary family. We've never really come up with a name, but that's okay. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I'll catch you in the next one.